actually by the fourth industrial revolution uh, organized by the former first lady Zanel Mbeki Development Trust African Women in Dialogue are seeking solutions to well their problems now for more on this let's cross to our reporter Ntokwana Ngatane at the Africa Women in Dialogue hey Ntokwana thank you very much indeed for your time what can we expect today Well, good day, Blaine. The sessions are continuing here, and as you've indicated, the key issues coming out, resources for women to take political office, but also ensuring that their cultures and their way of life is not eroded as they go into the fourth industrial revolution, but to also ensure that they take advantage of whatever opportunities are presented by the fourth industrial revolution. Now, let's talk to some of the women who are here. They come from, as you said, 15 countries, uh, many of them southern African countries, they come from the nine provinces of South Africa. But let's start with the Northwest province. And this is where you know that we have some of the most indigenous people on this continent. Let's find out whether coming here, um, do you resonate with some of the challenges that the women are raising? Yes. And, and what, are the, what are some of the issues that are most important for you? The most important issues for me is for the indigenous women to know their place as women. In the communities. And what place is that? The place is to know your identity. You must know your identity. You can't just come and you don't know who you are. And uh, one of the things that you are uh, most known for, Wena Memegi, is that you have something to do with the legacy, Yasara Bartman. Yes, I've got something very, very big about Sarah Bartman. I was the first woman in 2002 when a body came to South Africa, they asked me to do a prayer for the body when the body arrived in South Africa. Is it important for you, this issue that we're talking about, where we are hearing that women are now saying that it's important for them to come together so that they can support each other to take political office? Do you have those aspirations? Do you think women should take political leadership? I think women must take political, political leadership. It's very important to do it because it's always men. They forget about the woman, but the woman is the one who, who took the lead with prayers, with everything, with community builder, with everything, supporting the communities, supporting the indigenous people. That is the right thing to do. Women must stand up and do something. Thank you very much. Uh, and Lesotho is one of the countries that have been cited as a concern, particularly by UN women, because like the DRC, where there have been political upheavals, Lesotho has experienced its share. But also Lesotho is going through uh, reforms. They are political, they are constitutional, they are security sector reforms, but also the media and the economy. And here to talk to me is one of the people who has been a member of parliament, a minister, and Mem Atsepo Ramagwai, what is the role that women are playing in those very, very important reforms? Thank you, Takwana. Uh, we have a major uh, role that we are playing in the reforms. As I speak now, the UN in Lesotho, has, uh, we are finishing off another second uh, sitting whereby we've called all women from 10 uh, districts to come and view and come out with the points that they think should be in the reforms program. But apart from that, even when they, we started in the first dialogue, women from all different political parties have been roped in to come and be part of the reforms. Bef because we understand that most of the reforms sectors, they affect us, all of them, whether it be security, be the, the, uh, the legislature, uh, the public sector, all of them involve women. But for me, or for us in the UN Women, is that being the regional chairperson of Women's Caucus, what is it that we want women to do? The major thing is that we need women to be empowered to take part in politics. We're saying in Lesotho, as you know, we have redressed, we are now less in Parliament, 22%. And we're now we are talking about 50-50 in Parliament. How are we going to get there unless we are there to be able to to assist just yesterday i was now in parliament we are inaugurating he for she program that has been done by women uh, in, the, in the 39th um, session by un women for that for women 
to be able to work with the parliamentarians, for them to work as a team so that they come in to work on gender issues and in so doing empower women so that they, we have numbers and address issues that are particular thorny to women. GDB, gender-based violence, we're saying, and early child marriages. And we're saying we are the ones who are making laws. We are the ones who are looking at the laws. We are the ones who are saying if we are going to change the constitution, what is it that is affecting women in particular? So we are saying if we do it alone, we are not going to be able to do that. So in the program he for she, we are saying women, men should also be brought in so that when we look at this, we look at it in totality with them and they are able to talk about it where they are and as member of parliament, they are able to talk at their communities in, in their places. So now we have called all women from all the districts in all sectors, even in all different groups, indigenous groups, and say to them, what is it that is affecting you? In Lesotho, they say some of the laws that allow us to do that, and uh, we need to make sure that those laws, when we bring them into parliament, you as women uh, help are going to do to make sure that they are they are they are being you know passed and discussed. But we should also be given an opportunity to say what we want as women from the, the, the rural areas. Now, the issue of funding for women to take political office and to take public office, um, wh what are some of your experiences in Lesotho? Is it enough just funding to get women into public office? That's the major thing. Women don't get into politics because politics will erode every financial uh, things that we have. They will get into your children's school fees. They will do everything. And it's not all women who want. Women don't want to get into politics particularly for that because it is very costly. So we are saying if at all there are such changes that you want to put into, into uh, empowering women, Think about, we we're talking with the IEC, say IEC, you give political parties money, but even where women stand for, 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 for any seat, they are not given that money to go and help them to, to, to campaign. So we are saying, think about putting a certain amount of money so that you can be able to empower women, use it for their own campaigns. If that can be done then I think women can come in and do politics. Otherwise, the terrain is bad. You know, right now we have only one woman from the from Tabatseka who is also who could also come with that constituency and it's a very difficult constituency. She has to be riding on horses. Most of us can't. So we, we need government also to look into how if if the, if we're serious and saying we want women to be there, women should be empowered economically financially to make sure that they are going to be able to do to to get into politics and be able to view the, their 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 views in 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 the, in the political arena but the main point is always that uh, while women form on the continent 51 percent i think it's the same number in lesotho mm. they do not vote for each other when are you running for president uh, of your party your party is going to elections uh, again in february are you women running for leadership in your party so that you can in turn run for public office in the government we are the unfortunate thing is that uh, it's not men who said we should not run it's us women who are not doing that. For now, us as women in, in my own party, ABC, we are saying we need, at least in the 10th in the key positions, we are saying four or five should be women. If it's either 50-50... Why not, why not president? Women. Why not the leader? We are, not, we are not electing the leader as of now, but watch the space. Maybe if we are going for a leader, we'll, we'll do that. We have capacity, we have women who could do that, and we are saying we can do that. We are running for it. Thank you very much. Mema Separa Makwai is a member of parliament from Lesotho, and she says that she is one of the women who are responsible for the He for She program in Lesotho, and she assures us that women will take part in the reforms in Lesotho as Africa moves towards the fourth industrial revolution. Blaine? Important uh, issues being discussed there in Tokwan and Gatane live for us at the African Women in Dialogue. Thank you very much indeed for your reporting.